All right, so Brian and I got up early here once again, and we shot up to Stewart, Florida, where Kong Boats factory lives. So came here to meet one of our guys, Tyler. He's checking out a 25 bay that they just built. We're gonna take a look at that. Take a loop around their factory, see what else we see. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the behind the scenes look at uh, conch boats. There we have the 25. Good looking boat. And this is basically a 27 that got a flat top. Dead rise goes, changed a little bit, turned it into this 25 bay option. So Tyler jumped on a Seatron. What do you think about this thing, man? It rides great, man. It's an awesome boat. Yeah. Right. Well got, that, got that same bow as the 27, and then that everybody loves, and then flatten it out in the back so it floats in some real skinny water. They said you were into about 12 inches. Yeah, pretty pretty good. Man. They were doing 3.5 at a kind of a cruise um, in the high mid twos off offshore. So we're gonna find out more of those details. Make sure we get you the exact information and pass it along throughout this video today. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the interior of the 25. Open up a few of these hatches. Show you what's going on. So got a lot of storage, live well, capacity, jack plate, twin power poles, bilge axis. This one's obviously underway. Simple leaning post. Really nice looking console actually. Good size to it, but you still have plenty of room on, on either side. You can change these configurations obviously however you want. Storage space here, access to your you know, your batteries, your rigging, right through this forward area. And then there's a large storage space right here in the bow. Which is convenient and gives you a step up towards a little casting platform in your ankle locker. So, good looking boat. We're gonna jump inside the factory now. Kind of show you how these things are built from the inside, the guts that you normally don't get to see. Let's go ahead and take a look over there. What in the holy heck? How you Look doing? at this guy. <laughs> All right, so walking in, you can see a cap for 33 right there. We're gonna take a look. I always like seeing how these things are built. You know, those of you that don't get the opportunity to see this, you should try when you're looking at a manufacturer. It really shows you the quality of work that they do, the organization of the, of the team. Um, it shows you a lot about what the ultimate boat and the quality is gonna be when you see you know, this stage right here. We're looking at the 25 bay. You can see their stringer bulkhead system here. And the area right behind, if you can see that. You can see their workspace. They have everything nice and organized. It's relatively clean for a boat manufacturer. It's tough to keep these things clean, but they do a good job having, you know, the spaces allocated and everything organized. I got a little CNC set up back here, which is cool. I'm gonna take you to look at these two 33s. You got some piping setups right there. Looks like a second station behind that. Now this one has triple Mercury 400 Rados. Take a look inside, getting this thing rigged up. This is like an ice blue exterior hull color, matching interior, which looks pretty sick. You can see how these guys protect everything, which is great to see. Lay their tools and they're not putting it directly on the deck. It's on a new boat. You don't want to see that stuff, so. Great to see these guys take the extra effort. Honestly, don't see that as often as we wish we did. And here's another 33. This is like a really dark navy color or black and like an off-white beige interior. See all the rigging and electronics are set up there. And this one has triple 300 Yamahas. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this one to show you a bit of the space, that console. Again, everything protected like we like to see, just the fiberglass dust particles and everything. You don't want that stuff getting in your brand new electronics. I personally like the unique color combinations, you know, people go with on these boats. Not just the plain white all the time. You know, they think outside the box and these things look 
super nice, absolute fishing machines on these 33s. All right, so now we're in the area where the molds live. Um, they're actually shooting a 30 right now. Check this out. Just sprayed the gel coat on a 30 conch right here. Potent smell, but nothing better when you're the owner of one of these and see your boat hit the mold. So this is something impressive to see if you guys haven't been able to put together the opportunity. These molds look massive when you're actually sitting by them. Right here, I'm gonna show you the 25 bay. Check that out. Start laying some fiberglass. Clean work. Other the guys here at Kong Boats. And you got a cap for what looks to be a 30, maybe the 33. Here's the rest of the space. All right, so I'm gonna make a mad dash through the fiberglass facility right behind me. If you've been to one of those, you know they're a total nightmare. You'll be itchy for quite some time. So I'm gonna make a mad dash so you can see it, and I'm gonna get the hell out of there. All right, here we go. Sure, if I'm supposed to be showing this, I'll ask. If you're seeing it, I got, I got, I got the green light. What in the name of God is that? Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I like the looks of what I'm seeing. All right, so I actually found out that that big boat back there is their 47 in a uh, customized express walk around configuration that they're doing kind of a one-off that boat is actually being discontinued and they're going to come out with a 41 which is more like their 33 style i believe possibly a euro transom and a little more realistic for more buyers doesn't tie up their factory so much 47 is a big project and and we completely understand that part so just wanted to clarify that all right so we're making our way out i got tyler and brian up there back there jumping in excitement as you can see look at that <laughs> Can barely control these guys well it was a good meeting uh glad to meet these guys and finally see the facility seems like we're gonna work with them a little bit in content creation and uh do some photo shoots possibly some drone work and, and show you guys a little more information here in a more consistent basis um at least that's what we're working on so we want to get more information on more boats and that's our entire goal here at center consoles only and once again if you find value in what we do do us a favor and subscribe and share this thing with as many people as you can that's how we function that's how this all works on youtube so we definitely appreciate it thank you guys again for watching and we'll be back again very soon